Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Two Dreams Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and net topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in six. The topic of this tutorial is transformation of stresses. The question is eight, example 8.2. The question is included in the video. I've been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your answer and method might be right. See the cautionary notes at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of material. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question goes... In the figure, as shown on the board, a point in a material subjected to a compressive stress of 100 megapascals, a tensile stress of 70 megapascals, and a shear stresses of 35 megapascals that act on these planes. Calculate the principal stresses and draw the corresponding stress element. Okay, first things first. Is now we need to find stress 1 and stress 2. So, how we do that is stress X plus stress Y all over 2 plus minus the root of stress X minus stress minus stress Y all over 2 plus the tensile stress, x, y, and both of these are squared. So, how this will look is x is minus 100 plus 70 over 2 plus or minus the root minus 100 minus 70 all over 2 squared plus minus 35 squared. The reason it's minus, the reason the 35 is minus is because this stress here, this tensile load, this shear load that is acting here is going down. So, the next step now this will be 1, 1 will be plus, the plus, and 2 will be the minus. So 1 is the plus, and 2 is the minus. Over here, for the plus minus. So, equals, shear stress 1, equals, minus 15, plus, 91, comma, 92 equals 76,92 mega pascals. Stress 2 equals minus 15 minus 91,92 equals 1 of negative 106 comma 92 mega pascals and that's the first section of this particular question done now we've got to work out the angles so stress 1 is equal to 76 comma 92 mega pascals stress 2 is minus 106 comma 92 mega pascals. So, 
What we've got to do now is erase this. We're going to erase that and now we're going tan two theta to the sub p is equal to two shear stress all over x minus y. So, what we have here is 2 times minus 35 all over minus 100 minus 70 and we are left with tan 2 theta sub p and that will equal 0, 0,4118 now we bring tan over so 2 theta sub p now we bring the tan to the minus 1 times 0, 0,4118 that is 2 now tan is 22,38 degrees. Now we divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. We have theta p is equal to 11,19. Degrees. And we were looking for theta p. So our drawing, now we've got our drawing. It will look like this. Now our drawings will be That's how our drawing will be. So now, this is, the both of them will be equal, 76,92, and both of these are the same, 106,92, and our angle here, our theta p is 11,13, 19 degrees. And also, that is also 11,19 degrees. And that is our full sum. We've done exactly as they've asked. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like more videos like this, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.